Hi guys, it's Mommy Tang. What's up, Tang gang? Yes, don't I look so much better than last week? Anxiety. Uh, what is with this anxiety thing, Mommy Tang? Well, let me just tell you. I've been a sufferer of anxiety for a long time. As a kid, you have these like, you know, you have these moments where you're getting anxious and stuff, you know what I mean? But there was a very high peak of anxiety moment, high peak anxiety moment, does that make sense? In my life. Like it was, I was so anxious, I had this feeling all the time that I couldn't breathe. You know, I have moments like that. I was always scared of something. I was always scared something's gonna happen. You know, I lived in fear for a really long time. But yeah, now I'm in a good place. I'm not really scared of anything. Nobody really scares me anymore. And I really love that. Except I think there is that after effect because some days for some odd reason, I wake up in the morning and I feel anxious. I'm filled with anxiety and like my heart is going boom, 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 boom. And I'm like so nervous. I have no idea why. And I'm thinking like, why am I nervous today? Like, do I have something today? Is something going on today? I'm thinking and thinking and there's nothing, but I'm just like worried about something. Remember, I'm trying to change this diet thing to soothe myself, right? So I've been studying a lot, you guys. So I'm not a nutritionist, like, you know, certified license. I'm not any of those. I'm just, a girl that you know next door basically that's it i just look into what is good for me and i'm just sharing with you that's all so take it or leave it you think i'm stupid you think oh that makes sense it makes sense it makes sense to you if it doesn't then just boop, you know anyway so um i found out that the gut health we have this thing called microbiome thanks to all the raw vegans out there uh, especially Jillian Berry. I watch a lot of her show and they always talk about microbiome, microbiome. So I've been studying a lot about this, right? So I don't know everything, but what I've gathered so far is that microbiome is little, little tiny, tiny bugs that live in your body, like whole body. There are trillions of them, right? And let me, let me get my notes. <laughs> I want to sound stupid. I probably sound stupid, but look, girls, I've been like, Look, this, this, I've been studying so much about this. Like, it's like, I love it. I love it. When you eat food, right? They convert these food into like different, um, different molecules, I guess, you know, different things in your uh, body that, you know, gives you whatever. And one of them, <laughs> I sound so, I sound so not smart right now. One of the molecules that's very, very important to make you happy, right? It's called tri tri tryptophan. 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 If tryptophan comes into your body, it like has a process of converting to this, like there's stages, right? And one of the stages is serotonin. I'm sure you guys know about that. A lot of people know about serotonin uh, molecules, right? It makes you happy. And then after that, that another get, there's another process into that and when, you pass the process, it becomes melatonin. It makes you sleep. So you know how people say well, you can't sleep, then you're like all day, you're like grouchy all day and the next day, but if you sleep well, you're happy the next day. They help with your mood. And this happens in your gut. So I've been looking, what food could help me to get this tryptophan? What food has a lot of tryptophan? So I could be happy. Does that make sense? <laughs> if it doesn't make sense, then you look it up yourself. That's all I could do. Like really, I'm sorry. This is very interesting because, okay, this is like the whole vegan thing right now. It's so interesting, okay? So when you look up high food that's high in tryptophan, right? Tryptophan is an essential amino acid used to make proteins. So this is why, oh, if you only eat fruit, then how, where do you get your proteins? That's where this thing comes from, I think. They said the food that contains tryptophan includes animal products like chicken and fish and, and stuff like that. So we're, I'm thinking like, oh my gosh, that's why people say, that's why you're not eating meat, that's why you're not happy. And that's why people say this to you, I guess. I get that now, oh my gosh. Like, <laughs> am I the only one that's getting this? Anyways, so, but they also said the plants also have it, which is nuts and soy and seeds and some fruits. There's a lot of fruits and vegetables that has this too, right? So I'm thinking, 
Okay, but I eat a lot of fruits. I eat whatever. I eat a lot of the lot of these like plant based, not eat the animals. So what's going on? So I kind of looked more into this, and what they're saying is that if you eat whole foods, like whole food plants, even whole food animal, you know, meat and stuff like that, you're in a safe zone. But if you eat anything processed, then your microbiome doesn't work correctly. And blah blah blah. They have all this like. <laughs> I'm not a scientist, I'm not a doctor, like what do you expect from me? That's what they say. So I'm thinking you could also do this by eating plants, right? So I'm looking more into it. And then another thing that I found was, look at this, they say, the only problem with tryptophan derived from animal protein is that those foods are also rich in other amino acids. So they're saying that even though these animal products have big amounts of tryptophan, it's not as absorbable by our body because it has other stuff. Like it comes with the good and the bad, right? However, plant-based tryptophan, right? It might have little less than the animal product. It gets absorbed by our body more easily. So I'm thinking, okay, I got that. What do I have to eat now to make me happy all the time? And they said not to eat like a massive just because, okay, I'm gonna be super happy. So just eating like, you know, you can't do that. You gotta eat little by little variety. Gut loves variety. Microbiome loves variety, right? You wanna have like a good microbiome, the healthy ones in there, right? So this is what they say. They said, pumpkin seeds, sesame seeds, sesame seeds, hello, me, mommy takes sesame seeds. I eat them, but I was afraid of cashews and walnuts. They're saying oats, brown rice, quinoa, beans, potato, pineapple, pineapple, bananas. The thing is I'm doing raw, right? I'm not doing cook as much, remember? I'm doing like, I would say like 95% raw right now and then 5% cooked only because I love it and I want to try this lifestyle for a little bit. I'm not saying that I'll be raw vegan forever. I don't know, but I don't know. I've, this has been a whole week now. One week I've been raw 90%, 95%. I love it, right? So I'm going to try and I think I need to do this more longer to help you guys what kind of recipe I need to come up with. So I've been creating so many recipes, you guys, especially, oh, I need to get into this later, okay? Today, we're talking about anxiety. Hopefully, I'll get more information and then I'll do more recipes on that. Does that make sense? Whew, that was hard. I can never become a teacher. I just can't come up with the, you know, like a fancy vocabulary and then make it like, like, you know how people could like say a long sentence with like no stop and make it really beautiful and with all these like fancy words. I can't do that. I just can't. I could read it. I could understand. I just can't say it. It's just so bizarre. The title is called What I Eat in a Day. I just got really excited. This is opening. It's like 30 minutes, but I started filming since this morning. It's just that when I saw myself in the camera, I was like, ooh, girl. Like, <laughs> you cannot say hello again, looking like that again, you know, cause people are like saying, oh my God, right? So I'm doing my opening like this. So you guys, you know, I put you guys in a little nice, comfortable place. Okay. And then after that, the intro, my what it eat in a day starts. Me raw, no makeup in the morning, just raw. Okay. I will continue. I'll see you in a little bit because I got to put that into the clip, I guess after this, and then I need to continue because I'm about to eat right now. It's about uh, six o'clock, it's about to hit six o'clock. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't freak out. This is how I look in the morning when I wake up. First thing, I'm going to calm myself with the tea because I need to in. In. right okay so so i drink tea in the morning and i drink tea at night <laughs> maybe i should cover like this i want to drink tea that wakes me up in the morning i want to drink tea that calms me down in the morning so i'm gonna actually study about that and i'm going to go buy some more tea because i have teas that just makes me kind of like mm. i don't really have teas that makes me oh you know what i mean i'm sure there are teas out there so right now this is all i have that i could think of it's lemon ginger Yeah, it's organic. Now I told you that I have problem eating sour things in the morning, right? So this is what I'm going to do. First of all, the water is not too hot. The water is not too cold. So it's like drinkable water. 
right? So lemon, ginger, and I'm going to put maple syrup. Yes. Mm. Anyway, I'm gonna take AG, D3K2, vitamin D. I need it because we're in winter here. We're in New York. We don't get any sun. I hardly go out, actually, you know. You just need one drop a day. Give myself extra vitamin D because they say a lot of vegans are D vitamin deficient. Oh. Now I'm going to read and listen to music. I'm doing 90% raw, like 95% raw. Some people might not consider this raw because you know you put maple syrup in a somewhat hot water and you're drinking tea. They're like that's not raw. Okay, then that five percent makes me not raw, you know. But I've been focusing to try to eat raw every day, and it's been a whole week, whole week, you guys. Ever since I posted the video last video, I really feel so much better, so much better. But it's not enough. It's only been a week, and I don't know my body yet. But it's I change. You know, when you when you change something, you feel good about it. Maybe that's that. I don't know. But my energy level when you know my mood swings or mood level when you know up. But like I said, I still woke up with anxiety. Like I I went to bed pretty late last night, and then around four o'clock I woke up with this like huge anxiety in my chest. Like it was just. It's just like sometimes I get these anxiety anxiety attacks and I don't know where they come from. Now I do know where they come from because I've been suffering anxiety for a really long time. So year two thousand ish, I started I started to get these anxiety attacks. Yeah, like a huge ones. And then I had it throughout the whole you know since two thousand two thousand twenty three. I left the environment that makes me anxious. Because there are environment out there that makes you more anxious, right? So you need to leave that, really leave that, and try to put yourself in a situation where you don't feel as much anxious. But you'll still feel that because maybe your body is used to it. Maybe your gut is not helping you to stay calm. Whatever the reason, you know. But it got better. But I mean, it got a lot better because nobody really triggers anxiety for me now. Nobody really triggers it, right? But my body feels it. Does that make sense? It might make sense to some, not to all, but to some. All right. So now that I'm drinking tea. Let me tell you the plan of the day, okay? I started going to the gym, you guys. That's a huge for me. It's huge because I just didn't have energy to go to the gym, and especially during my PMS, me going to the gym. That's like unheard of. I went to the gym two days ago. I feel so amazing, like going to the gym. I did a power workout, like not more than 30 minutes, and I felt so great. My muscles are killing me right now, but I feel great. Let me see. I got about five hours sleep last night, but that's usual for me. I'm going to prep for the day so I could survive through the day. I'm going to show you that, and I'm also going to share with you what I eat at night because I do eat solid food at night. But it's like I said, ninety-five percent raw. All right, so let me just share that with you. Let me drink my tea. Let me listen to my music. Wait, I feel really naked wearing tank top. <laughs> Hangi has to go to work right after we work out. So I'm going to make him juice for him to take throughout the day, which will be watermelon. He loves watermelon, so believe it or not, I'm going to make the whole this watermelon into a juice. For me, I'm going to make green juice. I'm going to give him some green juice. He'll drink his green juice. I'm going to drink the green juice throughout the day. So I do drink more green juice than he does, only because he drinks more fruit juice than I do. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So for green juice, let me show you what I have. One bell pepper, 
this is all organic by the way except watermelon is not organic but all the stuff that i'll be eating with skin they're organic okay beets apples turmeric one for me one for hungry ginger one for me one for hungry jalapeno pepper for me now for the greens i have a huge head of parsley huge head of cilantro yes five cucumbers today because it's a cucumber day whole bag of Organic kale, the Tuscan kale, like the thinner ones or the spread or whatever. Organic dandelion leaves. Did we used to pick this off the grass? Don't people like kill? Yeah, anyways. Whole bag of celery and some more. Only because this I left it by the refrigerator and it got all frozen, so I'm gonna save that. So that'll be juiced. I'll take it to the gym, drink throughout the day. Yeah, 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 let's do this. I almost forgot, most important, lemon. This is Huggy's portion because he drinks a lot more than fruit. I used to give him a whole full of corn, but he had a hard time drinking that. So right now he's drinking more fruit. This is his portion. I'm also, we're both gonna take our supplement right now before we go to the gym. AG1, you guys all know AG1. <laughs> this is not sponsored. <laughs> juice all right guys this is what I'm going to be taking it to the gym I'm gonna drink this while I work out before I work out and after I work out big jar not a small one half a gallon everyone I'll be back see you in a little bit okay guys I just came back from the gym I couldn't drink it all because I don't know, I just couldn't drink it all. I drink a lot of it. Ah, <sighs> oh, that's so good. And I also, I'm gonna take a shower. <sighs> and then I went to grocery shopping at Wegmans because I need some more greens. I guess I, that this was a half a gallon, so I guess I drank one of these so far, and I just one left. I'm gonna drink that throughout the day. I'll show you what I got. Okay, drink my juice. So I got some teas for the morning. Remember I told you I have just calming tea, but I wanted like a little bit of wake up tea. So I got this nettle leaf. Okay. Okay, I got that, and then I also got a green tea. Organic green tea and with peppermint. I love that combination. So I got that. So I got these two teas. Now bananas. Banana makes you happy, you guys. Banana will make you happy throughout the day because I'm gonna talk about this later. But remember, we're talking about anxiety right now, right? So guys, it's a happy food. Bananas will make you happy. Okay, that. The chinado kale. <laughs> I can't pronounce that. It's a kale. But they kind of look like uh, like like that, like you know, it's a kale family, but it just looks different than the the kales that you know, right? And it has like a little bit of purple color to it. Yeah, look at this. Look, I thought it was kind of neat. Look at this. See how it's a purple color to it? Do you see it? Like right here, like right here. I thought it was kind of neat. I got two of uh, organic red leaf lettuce. You know, this for salad at night. Organic cilantro, they were so fresh. Look at that. So I got three of those. Organic curly parsley, I got three of those. 
organic collard greens. Look how fresh they are. Oh, I wish I had an organic farmer near me. But I, I don't know. I don't have enough information on it because I just started doing this diet, you guys. Like, literally. So I don't know. Okay, so that's what I got. I got three of that. It's a lot. This will be going into my stomach very soon. I'm going to go take a shower, finish the juice, and I'll show you what I eat for dinner. And I also need to cut my hair. My hair is just so long and so, so long. I need to do something. Oh, oh so good. I took a shower, my hair, it takes so long to dry, but I have to wash my hair every day because I feel like I'm detoxing right now. And I feel like I'm detoxing through my scalp and my skin, like my, especially like my face and up. So I just hate that. It's just, I don't know. It's just, I don't smell the same, I feel like. So I have, so I mean, anyways, I'm almost done with my half a gallon of green juice, remember? 12.43, I know. Some of you are like, oh my God, oh my God. There's a little glimpse of him. Anyways, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do a little bit of computer work for a couple, uh, maybe probably for like another four hours. Kids come home around 2.30, so I gotta make them lunch. I mean, I gotta make them snack after school snack and such. Do more work in the computer. And then I'm going to make dinner. I'm gonna eat dinner around five-ish, all right? Oh my God, guys, you guys, like what happened to the juice? What is going on here? People say like, oh, there's not enough fiber. There's plenty of fiber in here. Trust me, I would know. I would tell you if there's like the juice that you buy versus juice you make at home, it's night and day, night and day. Oh, I don't want to spill. Oh, I spilled already. <sighs> Put that away. You're drinking that with my last straw. Remember, we still have the watermelon juice, so I might drink that in a little bit. I might save this, I don't know. I try to drink as much as I can with the green juice because my body has been so craving these green, this fresh green juice, right? So now my body loves it, it's like, Fruits, I've been eating fruits all my life. Like I never, as a vegan, I never really stopped eating fruits, but greens, I didn't eat this much green. I never did. So my body loves it right now. It's like, woohoo, like, you know? So I'm gonna drink till my body says, okay, that's enough for today. I want some sweets. I want some solid, whatever my body asks for. That's what I'm gonna give. You guys, that's so good. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so good. Okay, you guys. So for dinner, I will be having salad. <laughs> salad. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. You probably say, I think for real salad. But listen, it's my salad. And this does not even taste like salad. I call it the sushi salad because it tastes like sushi but without the fish. But what you will get in a Japanese restaurant, kinda, but not for real, okay? So I'm gonna show you what I eat. It's like so good. I've been eating this like every other day because there are other stuff that I also created to my likings, you know? Because guys, if you do raw, I mean, if you, ugh, there's so much, I can't, I can't, I can't just do everything in one video, I can't. I mean, if you do raw, you get very creative because you're not using fire to do anything. So you gotta be creative to make your dish nice, I guess. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna show you the base of my salad today. Okay, so I'm gonna put some baby spinach, okay? Spinach creates dopamine in your system. Yes, it does. You know what dopamine does, right? It makes you wanna do things. You wanna like move forward with life. You wanna get up and do something for your life. Spinach does that for you, okay? So I'm gonna have a cucumber. And that's what I'm having as a base. And I'm gonna have an organic romaine hearts. 
I can have one. And I have a cilantro. I love cilantro. So I could eat cilantro every day for every single meal for a long time. So I'm gonna have a whole bunch of cilantro. And I'm going to have organic micro rainbow mix. Okay, I've been eating this too, so good. I'm gonna put a handful, let me just show you what it looks like, if I could get it open. I'm gonna have like about, but yay, this much. I'm gonna wash them, okay guys, okay. You know why salad tastes better when you go to other places? It's because the way they prep it for you. You know, the more expensive places you go, they micro chop your vegetable for you. That's why it tastes so good. So I'm gonna show you how I build my salad so it doesn't just taste like salad, but more like, ooh, this is salad? Like that, okay? Okay. All right, just think about it. Think of it this way, okay? If somebody gave you something like this and say, hey, that's your salad, eat that, and you have to literally like hold this one, you know, like, wouldn't it be hard? Do you think you'll enjoy that? No. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to enjoy your salad. First, I have that spinach, remember? You need to get these spinner. Very important. As a salad eater, spinner is very important. I got this for my Kia. Small, I got it for camping. The one that I use at home, I broke it, so whatever. Okay, so spinach is soft. You know, it's not like hard, so it's up to you to leave it the way it is, or you could chop it. I'm going to chop it because I like everything micro chopped. Micro. What is this white thing? <laughs> Just get a knife. Don't go too crazy with it, you know? Just give it a little chop chop. That'll be our base. And then next, we have romaine. Look, you know how people cut their salad like this? Like that, like this, for Caesar salad? Yeah, if you're making Caesar salad, yes, do that, okay? But mommy thing, I like my lettuce big. Okay, then you do you. But for me, Knife skill, very important if you want to become a good chef or a good cook. So look at how small these lettuces are, right? So that's what you want to do. Micro chop them, okay? It makes your salad taste into another level. Cucumbers also. Like this. People cut their salad like this, right? You guys? Like that. And if you, or something, or sometimes they cut it like in a half moon like this, right? Like I said, if you like that, you do that. Mm -hmm. No. See how small they are? That's how I make my salad, okay? All right, there's a reason why I'm gonna use half, I don't know, I'm debating right now. Should I use half of the cucumber or the whole cucumber? There's reason for this, but I'm gonna use the whole one. I'm gonna regret it if I don't cut it now. I'm gonna cut it, yeah. I'm gonna have a very full, a large salad, so I don't get hungry later at night because I want to stop eating certain time, you know, like I don't wanna eat anything after eight. I love cilantro. I'm gonna save some for Hungi maybe, because he likes cilantro too. Little sprouts, remember? Oh, look at that salad. Look at that salad. This is my base. Remember, this is the base. It's all about the base, about the base. Remember, remember that? Oh, 
I just can't. I just, I just can't. I can't even, like, I can't even, I just, I just can't. I can't. I love it. Oh my god, that's so good. For a little topping, I'm going to use cauliflower rice. Rice cauliflower. It's very in these days, right? So, <laughs> it's like putting rice on top of your salad, I guess. Okay, now I'm going to make the dressing, you guys. You're going to love this dressing. Do you remember the happy food? The serotonin food, the melatonin food. Do you remember they say it was sesame seeds, peanuts, you know, and all these other nuts out there. The only thing is, I don't have any nuts in the house. Like, I went to buy it today, and they didn't have anything organic, so I was like, forget that. But anyway, so I'm going to put some. I have organic sesame seeds. Maybe like a, I don't know. I guess like a, I got it from Wegmans. Now coconut amino is good for you only because it only has coconut and sea salt. A lot of soy sauce are messed up out there these days. You gotta find a really good one. So anyways, I like my salad a little sweet because you know today I had a lot of green juice that was a little bit savory. So I wanna go with the sweet side for dinner. So I'm gonna put some maple syrup. This is organic maple syrup from Costco, I believe. And I have my gochukaru, which is the Korean red pepper to make kimchi, right? I'm gonna put a little bit of that because you know what peppers do to you, right? Good stuff. And then finally, peanut sauce. I got this from, I think I got this from Aldi's. Yeah, unsweetened, creamy peanut butter. It only has organic peanuts and sea salt again, you know? So, hey, a little bit of one scoop, big scoop of peanuts in there, and you mix it. Peanut sauce, right? But look how thick it is. So what do you do? Any juice that you have, remember? You put a little bit of juice in there. I'm gonna put my watermelon juice in there. <laughs> Make it really watery, like not watery, but you know, like a salad dressing. Look at that, look at that. Can you really eat salad dressing like this? Like, have you ever seen anybody eat salad dressing like this? Mmm, mmm. <laughs> Pour it over your salad. Just hold on, hold on. I'm ready to eat. What you're gonna do is you're gonna mix the salad really well so the sauce gets between the micro chopped lettuce and all this good stuff that you have, right? I'm very Korean. Koreans use hands for everything. Now, if you go to somebody's house, this size might be literally for somebody's family, you know, shared by like four or five people. But if you are eating salad for dinner, nothing but salad, you need to eat a lot of it, okay? Because half of it is basically air, and half of it is just fiber that will come out of your, you know, other end. So you have to eat a lot of it. Mm. Mm. It tastes like a summer roll. Mm. Mm. Toast it. All right, do you remember last week I told you to do this and roll it, right? This week, today, you're going to grab these together, okay? You're going to fold them together like so. And make it into little tiny, tiny pieces, I guess. All right, they cut easy. Now you could do it in half and make it into a big piece, or you could make it into like small three pieces like so, like what I'm doing, and don't waste any of that. Put it back in here, I guess. Yeah, like so, and like so. If you get a nori paper, you could use your hand if you can't use your chopstick, you don't know how to do it. You grab it like so,
Who am I? Mommy can, right? I decided to make some. You want to see my kimchi collection? Here it comes. Tomato kimchi. Cilantro kimchi. Vegan, raw. I'm sorry, you can't try it. I'm sorry, you can't buy it. Maybe I could like sell it at Etsy or something, you know, for you guys. Cucumber kimchi. Mmm. Oh my god. So good. So good. You know what kaktugi is, right? Kaktugi. Yeah. That's with moo. Radish. Now this takes longer time to uh, make probiotic to, you know, get fermented and whatnot. So right now it's not quite ready. Oh. Nice. Probiotic, raw, vegan, mm. no oil, no fat. The fat is healthy for you, mommy. Take. That's why I put the peanut in there, remember? Peanuts, sesame seeds. Mmm. Mmm. Um, you need a little topping, you have just have just one kimchi. Mm. 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 It's almost ready, try it. Almost ready, almost. Not, not, not quite there yet. So good. It's good, right? Mm How's -hmm. this? I made this yesterday for you. But you finished yours already. Mm. You gonna try one of these? Have a bite? Yeah. Maybe a small bite. What you think, what you think? What should we call it? It's good, right? I call it the sushi salad. What do you think? Mm -hmm. You want some? Mm -hmm. some. We're gonna chop it. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 Hey, what, use this plate too, like hold, so it doesn't fall on the table. It's so good, right, Pepe? Mmm. Mm. Love you. <laughs> there are food that you could eat that makes you happy. Do you know that? Yeah, I'm young. No. Because <laughs> you're a kid. Although ramen doesn't make me happy. <laughs> what? I don't know what yum yum is. What's yum yum, baby? Ramen. The only thing is, eating ramen and dessert and stuff like that, it makes you happy when you eat it, but afterwards you get sick. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But food that you could eat, kind of like, yeah, it's all right, it's all right. But, but it actually makes you feel happy. But if I get sick, it's worth it though, because I love yum yum. <laughs> <laughs> I still let you eat it once in a while, but you're a kid. You gotta enjoy life. Mmm. I'm very good at this. I keep like. It's okay. You, you can eat your hand. Okay? Yeah? Hmm? Use your hand like this. Like this. Uh -uh. Okay. Like you just grab it with your hands. Mm -hmm. Mm. So, banana makes you happy. Pineapple. I like banana, I just don't like 
texture of it. When you eat it, there's like these little bugs inside, like little critters uh -huh. inside your body that breaks down the banana uh -huh. and then it sends the signal to your brain to make you happy. The banana does that. Pineapple does that. Now what else? Sesame seeds, mm -hmm. pumpkin seeds, cashews, walnuts. So seeds and nuts, they make you happy, you know that? So strawberries? Mm, strawberries, I'm not sure. I'm sure they have it a little bit. All the plants, and, all the fruits and vegetables, they have it. Mm. Even juicing, even juicing two cups, like, no, one, this is one cup, two cups, every day. Yeah. Every day for almost four months now. Huh? This one, yeah. I was giving one full glass of this green juice. Not regular fruit juice, but green juice, right? Do you feel the benefits? Or are you just a kid? You can't really tell. I have one benefit is that mm -hmm. I, I don't feel like sleeping Mmm. You don't feel sleep in class. You notice no. that? Uh huh. And then, um, I sleep. Oh, that's okay. I sleep better. You sleep better? Uh huh. Oh my god, for real? Yeah. Girl, I did not know that. What makes you like realize, like, hey, I sleep better? How did you realize that? Like, no, like. Yeah? I saw four for like 30 minutes now. Really? You really think it's just juicing? How do you know it's not juicing, but it's something else maybe you're doing? Because I'm not doing anything besides juicing that's changing. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> How long did it take you to get over the, oh, I don't want to drink this. Remember in the beginning, I was like, you have to drink it. Like I forced it down upon you and you were like almost crying. <laughs> like a month and a half. A month and a half? I don't remember. How am I supposed to remember? Okay, I don't remember. <laughs> And then you start drinking it, and now I give you, like in the beginning, I had to put a lot of fruits in there, like 30% vegetable and then 70% fruit. Now we're a pure 80% vegetable, 20%. This morning, I gave you like 90% vegetable, 10% fruit. Oh, and you just go, spicy. Oh my god, and on top of that. <laughs> no, but you, you I don't change it, so I never know what I'm going to have. But it's good, right? Yeah. Yeah. So she drank what I like. Literally, what I drink today, I gave, I make it because that's the first thing I wake up, and then I come downstairs, and then that's you know I have to pack her lunch. So I pack her lunch, and then I pack her. I'm gonna make it a little bigger, yeah. Yeah. So you can use your hand, and then and then I make her juice so she could drink the juice before she goes to school, and she doesn't complain. Same with Hungi. Hungi doesn't complain anymore. About the green juice as much. <laughs> His face. <laughs> yeah, I try not to. <laughs> no, but you got a lot better, don't you think? Oh, yeah. In the beginning, you were like gagging. Gagging like every sip. Yeah. But it's because I when I when I was growing up, I just never ate a lot ate of it. Nothing. When I first met you, I was like, oh my god, there are people like you, like don't eat anything else. <laughs> All I ate was flour, like noodles and bread, a lot of white rice, a lot of carbs, and a lot of meat. Yeah, and you know what? The healthiest thing that you've had in front of me, more than me, you know what it was? There's one food that you had more than me that was healthy. I was like, huh, what? interesting. Water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did, I did drink you a drink a lot of water, but I was never thirsty. And that, now I drink a gallon of liquid a day. Like literally. Oh my God, the more I drink, the more thirsty I am. But I'm telling you, like I feel like I am a lot more thirsty. Like, I know the difference between thirst and hunger now. Like, literally, my body did not know that before. How about you, Hungi? I'm never hungry. I'm always thirsty. Mm -hmm. I mean, I get hungry if I starve all day. Mm -hmm. I actually look for liquid more than food. Yeah. I drink about a gallon of liquid per day, 80% vegetable, and 20% probably fruit. And then I drink two cups of water because I drink tea. I don't really, really drink regular water, but like after I eat this, probably tonight when I go upstairs, I'll bring a big glass of tea. That's what I'll have for dinner. So much has changed, you guys. I love studying about these things. I love it. Oh, and another thing. 
this is like a bonus for people that stay till this end to show you. Like, so I'll talk about this more on a depth, another video, but. Mm? There's easier way, easier, not easy way, I said, easier way to make your family love vegan food. They are. And just like Paige Peppy, right? She hated drinking the green juice in the morning. She hated it. But now she sees the benefits of it because she's been drinking it for about four months straight and she sees a benefit that she, honestly, Peppy, when you come downstairs, don't you look for a green juice? Yeah. If I skip the day, let's say, wouldn't you be like, where's my green juice? You would do that, right? Yeah. <laughs> See? Like, but that's how you create the lifelong habits for her to drink green juice for the rest of her life, you know? So, there are ways to do this. Now, is she vegan? No. Peppy is not. She wanted to, but I told her, Peppy, you, I don't think you should be vegan because there are many, many reasons. I'll talk about this, like I said, in another video, but um, she eats a lot of healthy food. But my priority is not to get rid of animal food in her diet. My priority is to get the junk food out of her diet, processed food out of her diet. That's what my, you know, that's what I focus on. So, you know, kids need to snack all the time. So give them lots of fruits for snack. And if they want chips or something like that, there are a lot of gluten-free, oil-free based chips out there. And also because, you see how much kimchi we're eating? So I don't make it as salty. So and you know what I usually do at the end, towards the end? One of these. I scoop the salad. I go like this. This is really um, barbaric way, but it works. Okay, go like this. <laughs> oh wait, Peppy, what are you forgetting? Just the lunch turkey cheese. Mm -hmm. It's so good, right? Mm How -hmm. do about wait? I gotta use the other side. Tell them about the cilantro kimchi. It's good. This is like <laughs> unique, right? Yeah. Mm. And then the tomato kimchi, remember? Mm -hmm. So good, tomato kimchi is so the good. The juicy like, water comes out. It's so good, right? But it needs to be more sour a little bit. A little bit more sour, I think. It's so good. It's better than yesterday. Oh, it's so good, right? Mm. Why do you say you don't want it? You drink it all. <laughs> it's good, right? Because oh, yesterday, it wasn't cold. So it wasn't, mine wasn't cold. Mm. Yeah, I thought it was, uh, it was okay. It's so good, right? Mm. Oh, I'm telling you guys, this is like a happy food. It'll make you happy. I can start draining. Peppy, eat it with rice. Peppy? Yeah. This one's like the bread. kimchi. Guys, you have anxiety? Remember, bananas, pineapples for the fruit. Nuts and seeds, sesame seeds, pumpkin seeds, peanuts, cashew nuts, walnuts. How they on your diet? Peanuts, peanuts right. Mm hmm hmm. Bye, you guys. You good?